Hello and welcome back everyone to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories Part 5 and in this episode we'll be continuing on with the World Tournament by fighting off with Weevil Underwood! Yes, after our grinding session our deck is officially ready to take down most of the World Tournament. There is uh, one particular opponent that we need to go to defeat before we're completely ready to get rid of the World Tournament, but we won't be doing that grinding on him for quite some time. This is what our deck looks like now. Woo. Our deck right now is 10 dragons, 10 zombies, uh, 10 elect, uh, 10 thunders, a regeki, and then the rest is uh, is great mammoth of gold find uh, pieces. Now, which type of creature is the great mammoth of gold find? Is it is a dinosaur or is it a zombie? Zombie. Nice. Dragon zombie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Dragon. Let's go with that. Wasn't quite 2850, yeah. but it was still 28. No, no, no! Twin, uh, twin-headed thunder dragon is still twenty-eight hundred. Is still twenty-eight hundred monster. But not twenty-eight fifty. Well, Jesus actually, Christ. there are no twenty-eight fifty monsters in this game. The right, closest this one... thing that we get to uh, <laughs> to twin-headed thunder dragon is actually Sengenjin at twenty-seven fifty. This this is link dueling. You're taking cards from your hand and you're you're crushing them together and you're making bigger cards out of them, and it wins games. This is turn two. <laughs> yes, and that is and that is uh, Urubi. Was it Urubi? I think so. Go, twin-headed thunder dragon. Twin thunderbolts. It's super yeah. effective. Well, no, it's just he's a he's a he's a dead guy. But yeah, that's what our uh, turn twos officially look like for the rest of the game. Well, not for the rest of the game, but for the rest of the world tournament. We'll be uh, generating two and thunder dragons like nobody's business because it's what our deck is designed to do now. Yep, and you because only limited by that you can't attack on turn one. You know the term and the, when you the get your we're first. Only allowed one. to play one card at a time. Yep. Right. Wink, wink. One card at a time. Gotcha. Because you know. Wink game balance on Wink is really important. Mm -hmm. And here's another card that we'll be generating a lot of. Curse of Dragon. Yay. One of Kaiba's favorites. Ah, uh, Yugi's actually. Kaiba never played uh, Curse of Dragon. One of Yugi's favorites. Mm, but the whole reason why Yugi plays it is because it can go into Guy the Dragon Champion. Oh, how could I forget? One of Yugi's signature moves. Signature? He uses it fucking twice. Come on. Well, he actually he... uses Curse of Dragon more than he uses Gaia the Dragon Champion. Well, Gaia the Fierce Knight appeared in Episode 1. It appeared in the Gaia the Dragon Champion fusion. It also appeared in the Black Luster Ritual. Because it, the... it was Gaia the Fierce Knight and Kuribo that formed the Black Luster Soldier. Hey, my. Now, the first time that you're running through the game, you'll probably end up farming on my quite a bit because oh, the first time you're running through the game, one of the biggest time. fusions that you can actually make is uh, Crimson Sunbird at 2300. But we will not. We do not need to be farming on my anymore. So you know, it, 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 we're we're fine. We're just gonna make Twin Thunder Dragons at her face over and over again. So how much better does the deck get from here? Very actually, there is one significant deck improvement that we will, that we will be doing uh, af after our world tournament, right, and uh, it involves us farming on Pegasus. Ooh, Pegasus! Well, technically, there's there's two specific cards that we want to actually get uh, for our deck in, in order to make our deck better. They are Meteor Black Dragon and Megamorph. Megamorph, uh, Megamorph slash Bright Castle, we can get by farming on Pegasus later on, and Meteor Black Dragon, we will be we'll be getting after the world tournament. Now why is Bright Castle important? Isn't that a card that only improves like light monster attribute? Uh, normally yes, but um, in this game Bright Castle is the generic equipped for all types. It increases every, <laughs> it increases every monster that's equipped with its attack points by 500. Sweet. Which is about what you could expect from a fusion except well, we, we use Crawling Dragon number two and the Electric Snake the sum of the sum of which the attack points do not quite add up to 28. This is just ridiculous, though. Yeah. I mean, this is about as ridiculous as when I immediately got a wing dragon of raw while I was doing the uh, the rechef 
Yu-Gi-Oh game on the Game Boy Advance, and every game basically started looking pretty much the same. Yeah. So what's new in the world of Cloud as we steamroll our way through World Tournament? Well, uh, I am happy to have finally worked on my movie commentary building skills, which had been due for some honing for quite some time. The whole idea is, like, you want to tell a story with pictures. Now, I went, I went ahead and did the extra mile and used pan, uh, if only in the absence of any other supplementary stills that would help tell the story that I was trying to get at. Uh, and then there was also using the controls, using QuickTime Player, Capture Screen, all that stuff. And it took me a really long time to realize, yeah, these tools have been here this whole time. You know, kind of like Dark Souls. <laughs> Ooh, we got giant flea. Woot. Flea! Flea! Alright, so, so what we're doing here is we're putting in a slightly more powerful zombies. Specifically, we're taking out our wood remains for a shadow ghoul. And that's it, actually. I mean, I should have probably taken out uh, my petite dragons for those dark fire dragons, but eh, not I like how, important. <laughs> I like how early Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, in lieu of cre Jesus Christ, in lieu of creating a more cogent English name, that they will just keep the Japanese name, probably because they couldn't even fit the translation in English on a card title. Ha, <laughs> mm, uh, Mikazuki no Yaiba. Niwatori. Ryukishin. Well, Ryukishin is, you know, Dark Elf. Uh, is uh, just is effectively just a uh, dragon fiend, which makes sense given, uh, or a uh, or a king of fiends. Yu-Gi-Oh, he's the king of games. Or how about? Oh, I, I solo here. I was about to say I solo. I know, right? How about how many dragon types that there are available with which you can create your shit? For example... <laughs> that is true, though. The, the, because there are lots of dragon fusions on the table, you can make lots of them on the fly. Yep. And we won. Yay. And that is what the 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh! medal looks like. Um... No, uh, their turns are longer than ours. Oh, I, 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 I. <laughs> Poor Bandit Keith. I uh, don't. Feel are you ready for, for some plots, Mr. Cloud? Uh, I'm always ready for plot in a Yu-Gi-Oh situation. <laughs> mm. Behold, plot. Hey, Joey. Hey, you Yugi. I hear you winning. How about you give me some of that good luck you got going on there? <laughs> Well, Joey, firstly, you have to go back to ancient Egypt. And then you have to go find villager number two. Not villager one. Villager one is terrible. Villager two. Hey, shoddy. You looking for something? I was summoned by Yugi's Millennium Item. <laughs> for the record, no, he wasn't. He was drawn to the fact that all the Millennium Items are at the tournament. If you see, if this guy shows up, you're gonna have a bad day. And it's not his fault, though. I mean, he's directly related to a she, uh, to a Shiju in uh, Americ, but it's not his fault that we're gonna have a bad day. Yugi, I'm afraid that you just got served a court summons. No, Yugi, uh, Yami Yugi is not our doc doppelganger. He just looks like us because that is uh, that is convenient for the story. You can probably meet the other one. <laughs> yeah. Shoddy doesn't actually know all, all that much about, about the dark magics because the majority of the dark magics that have been that have been used by the Millennium Items and the tribes worshipping them have been lost since, you know, ancient Egypt is no longer a relevant super as a no longer a relevant world power. Open your mind. Yugi, I am legally obligated to remind you that hey, I am not attend. a real doctor. It's so strange. <laughs> we have a telepathic link now. Ooh. D so? <laughs> there are many cards in this game. Some of them yes. will kill you in three strokes. 
No, some of them will... Well, specifically, one of them? Yes, one of them will kill you in two. <laughs> that would be Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Yep, Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon. 4,500 attack points. Ah, uh, Blue-Eyes Ultimate Megamorph Cyberstein. Ah, uh, bring smack memories. <laughs> mm. Forbidden memories! <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call those memories uh, forbidden because, <laughs> you see, uh, I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu in a in a mostly casual setting. I mean, we've tried, but we've always ended up uh, falling back on the advanced rule set. So, <laughs> I've never actually gotten the chance to have a Cyberstein kill me. Right. Okay, now, for those of us joining in, for that matter. those of us just joining in on our episode, we just Freddy Kruegered some cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s, from Yugi's mind. <laughs> yep. And now we have to deal with Shoddy. What? 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 I don't understand why we have to kill him. I mean, I know that. His hey, we got visit another Zodiac piece. Uh, Shoddy actually has a Millennium item, and we need all the Millennium items in order to send a, a Tem back to his time. So his purpose here is to lose. Ooh, we got a Metamorph. He just has to understand why. <laughs> Yay, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Yay. Now, we're about to go up against an opponent uh, in, uh, in the next part, specifically, that uh, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon might not actually kill. It probably will kill him, but it might not, which is why we have mountains in our deck. High early game aggression usually wins games in these types of situations. Nice. Yeah, Shoddy actually resets uh, resets the difficulty all the way back down to uh, Rex Raptor levels, specifically because of the plot line uh, that you're not allowed to save in between. Ooh, disgusting. So it looks like you're able to generate like a twin-headed Thunder Dragon, like pretty much. I, I want to say like seventy percent of the time on turn one, and then like eighty percent of the time turn two. Um, about that. It's closer to eighty-five, ninety, honestly. Great, it's 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 amazing, really. Consistency is king. Hello, armored zombie. See, you don't have to be good at the game. You just have to win. Frog the jam. He is just as disgusting. Go, armored zombie. Corpse breath. You have a sword and you don't use it. <laughs> Actually, neither of his attacks use a sword, as far as I can remember. I think his moon one is the uh, is uh, Samurai Vengeance, so... Uh, yeah. I didn't do my I did it dance. Yay. Yeah. Bye-bye. And so Shoddy was slain by my horde of twin-headed thunder dragons. You truly must be the pharaoh. Yes, yes, I know. I must be at him. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, stop. Ooh, wandering dude. <sighs> and in the next part, we will continue on with the rest of the world tournament. Specifically, we will be gathering up the other Millennium items. Yeah, Shoddy's got both key and scales, so there a third of the Millennium, millennium items he brought with him. I'm all to see the Millennium items of my destiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, Shoddy. Yes, hey, we're doing pretty good. I'll yeah, we just, game. we're one step closer to saving the world. We are doing splendid, thank you. <laughs> Very splendid. <laughs>